Hey guys, welcome to another Transformers uh, figure review. Today we're going to take a look at a really cool figure from the Armada line. Uh, one of the greatest and coolest figures this line has to offer, if not the coolest and one of my personal favorites. I'm talking about none other than Blur. He belongs to... Uh, he's a, a member of the Autobots uh, and I believe he's the sniper of the team. And now I, bu I bought this uh, figure way back in 2002 at a my local uh, supermarket. Well, not not exactly my local supermarket, but uh, but uh, at a supermarket. Uh, uh, so yeah, I bought it way before I even stu uh, thought about making reviews. So I don't have the uh, the packaging nor the instructions, and of course I don't have the uh, the card it comes with. So I'll cut to the chase uh, right now. This is how Blur looks in his vehicle mode really cool actually the um, the car resembles a Maserati MC12 now this uh, this particular figure has three modes the vehicle mode uh, the air mode which can be activated by inserting uh, his Minicon incinerator in the back if you activate it and push it a little bit hard What it does it is it it makes these parts pop out. Now you got blur in aerial mode, ish. So, yeah. Uh, before I start transforming, I'll give you a look at. Uh, sorry, at incinerator, which, like I said, this is mini con. Really cool looking. Uh, Minicon. I think it's my favorite Minicon from all the others. Uh, it looks like a race car, a really high-tech race car. And you transform him easily, like so. This is what I like about Minicons. They're not too complex or too hard to transform. So yeah, you can say uh, Incinerator is Blur's sidekick. Okay, let's transform him back to vehicle mode so that he can help Blur accomplish a certain number of tasks. Okay, uh, I'm going to transform Blur now to show you how he looks in his uh, robot mode. And Blur is actually c uh, quite simple to transform also. One of, the, uh, one of the easiest Autobots to transform. Uh, yeah. Taking a little longer than expected. I do not know why. And I keep telling you, these these figures decide not to cooperate with me when I need them most. The joints are kind of hard, but I don't know if it's just my figure or uh, all the others are that way. So yeah, you have Blur in robot mode. Really cool looking. Uh, Figure uh, and I actually love the, uh, the the paint scheme, the the uh, electric blue, red, uh, orange, and silver. It just uh, works for me. Uh, looks really really cool. I'll give you a more in depth look at his uh, faceplate. Looks really cool. The uh, the Autobot logo sporting in the chest. Really cool. Uh, he's got a very unique set of hands. Unlike the rest of the uh, Transformers uh, action figures, they have uh, holes in their hands. They have a, like a fist, but with a the hole to to hold their weapons in place. Uh, actually, this guy can only hold his uh, his guns or his sniper rifles in place. That's the only uh, accessory he can hold. You see, the the hands have a, a peg hole in here, and the uh, the sniper's ha uh, rifles have a, a hole. So, he holds them in place, like so. Now, if I'm not mistaken, in order to shoot the, uh, the missiles, you, you just insert the incinerator 
in here and do some kind of maneuvering and the, the missile should shoot out. But uh, I don't know if, if, if it's because my figure's kind of old or I don't know how to work the mechanism correctly. I don't know. And quite frankly, I don't care. I don't, I don't uh, shoot much uh, missiles because I tend to lose them like most of us collectors. So, yeah, here he is, here he is with his two uh, guns or weapons. And that's about it. In terms of articulation, well, he's, he's very articulated from, uh, for a transformer. He's got hinges and... Uh, joints everywhere, in the head, the shoulders, the the elbows, the forearms, the legs, even move the, uh, the thighs, and you know, he actually uh, stands out pretty well. I'm going to transform him back into vehicle mode in order to uh, to, to uh, leave my final thoughts and impressions. Now, actually, uh, I just learned uh, a few hours ago, uh, Hasbro released uh, a variant of this, uh, which was called the uh, Shattered Glass Blur, which was red and black, uh, mainly the uh, the body of the, the car was all red, and he had some certain uh, black flashes, which which I uh, looked the, uh, the, the pics up, I googled... Uh, car and it looks really really awesome so if you can buy if you can find either one uh, this one or the uh, or the uh, the shattered glass variant it's, it's uh, a must here we have the the helixes from the uh, aerial mode so yeah oh man it's not working again Almost done. Be patient, please. Here we go. Uh, one of the cool feature that Blur has is uh, the the top kind of pops out or pops open, so it's really really good. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, my final thoughts and impressions and opinions or whatever. This is a definite must for every uh, each and any Transformers fan, like myself. If you can find the figure. Definitely buy it. Either, even if it's uh, the the shattered glass, this one, the Armada, or the uh, Energon Blur. I think um, all three of them are great figures. So buy them. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, take care. May the force be with us all.